and literally the best driver on the Formula One grid, Yuki Tsunoda. Just that Mercedes is just a midfield team. I was like, does George want this shitty place? Sure, whatever. He can have it. If you only have two cars and you lose one, I'm not a math guy, but then all of a sudden you don't have you don't have enough cars. It's like we're in a different category, man. I don't care. What's up, Vankas? Hello, Vankas. How is everybody doing? How are you doing? Are you doing good? Because I'm doing good because there was so much coverage of Yuki Sonoda in this race. Every time there was a moment where something wasn't going on, they were like, hey, let's cut to Yuki. And I know we were in Japan for that, and that's why they were doing it. But hey, it works. Let's keep it going through the rest yes. of the season. When we're hey, when we're in Brazil, you know, I know Lewis is the honorary Brazilian, but like, let's just cut to Yuki, okay? Because Yuki Sonoda getting his fucking due Finally, for once in this fucking lifetime, we're not the only people on the top of the Yuki Mountain. <laughs> I don't know. I was uh, I was stressed the whole time. I was like, maybe put a little less coverage on him. I'm paying attention. I don't need everybody else to pay attention to him. You know. <laughs> I, I just I, had faith, dude. I was like, Yuki's gonna. It, it's gonna <laughs> happen, dude. Was I, I? Part of me was like, is he gonna podium? Is he gonna podium? <laughs> Dude, dude, when they yeah. said th there were so many there were so many events that I was stressed out about. There was first he has a bad restart. Then there's there's an RP in the wall. I'm like, oh yeah. God. Oh God. It's Yuki. Yeah. It's Yuki. Then then Yuki was marked safe in the red flag incident. It was it was Daniel yeah, Ricardo. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh and then the restart happens, and then his there's something wrong with his transponder did you see that his like oh, yeah he drops down to 17th and i'm like oh god here it is of course i'm like my mom i'm like my mother i'm like why does this always happen to me why does this always happen to me my mother whenever something happened to me my then my mother would say why does this always happen to me and that was what i was doing watching you but no they're like no something yuki's fine he's in his grid position i was like oh thank god but See, um, yeah, you had that you had that reaction. I had the reaction where I was like, what are they doing? He's in he's in 10. Yeah, I was yelling at the team. No, he lost two places. He lost two places. He was in 12. Yeah, he, did. He, 12. Did, he lost two places. But I was like, he. but wasn't that on the restart where he had a good restart? Or was that on the first? No, he, he had a bad start. He had a bad he had a bad start. I think one. Yes. And then maybe had a good restart. He had a good second start because he's fucking Yuki Sonoda and it's the Japanese GP and he got a point in his home GP and it's and that's what's most important. But before we get into the rest of this episode, we got to thank our daddies of the pod. We got to thank Kayla, Robin, Jordan, Tech, Sarah, Jay Lingle, Javier, Mera, Sheila Valeri, Chandler, Luana Galbano, Ali Santana, Carla, Juarlo, Kimberly, Huelen, Alonso from my face 69, Donya Denod, Jimmy, Stefano Dominicanti, Kimmy sponsored by Mommy of the Pod, Hollister 584, Live Lot, Cat, Future Dog Tour, Dion, Steph Grossi, JB Fresh, Laura, Emily Gillenwater, Cody Hull is my F1 daddy, Branch W, Keep Up the Signs Hate, Hunter Scruggs, Salmonella Mozzarella, I'm a LeClaire fan and yes it hurts, Jay Kess, Sig Malonso for president, George Russell is evil Peter Parker from Spider-Man 3, Matt Edwards is always right, I wish I was Max and Danny's love child, Delaney Andrews, Henry Kasky, Miles Lewis Alexander, The Real Toto Wolf, Meggie B, Kelly Breyer, and Eve with a Y. Thank you, daddies. If you want to become a daddy of the pod, you go to patreon.com slash trfpod and be a benefactor today. Also, speaking of what we're going to be talking about for this entire episode, but we're going to be talking about Yuki Sonoda yesterday. But what we're going to be talking about on the Patreon this week is a Yuki Sonoda deep dive, the full picture of the man, the myth, and literally the best driver on the Formula One grid, Yuki Sonoda. <laughs> so in, subscribe in now. That episode will be coming out soon. Yuki Sonoda deep dive. Patreon.com slash TRFPod. Where should we begin with this race? Where do you want to start? qualifying the week leading up to it the japanese fans i love the japanese fan 
I love I Japan. I love the Japanese fans. I love the Japanese fans. I love yes. Japan. I never want to leave this apartment ever. Right. And my apartment yeah, yeah, yeah. sucks, but I, right. I, I still prefer my shitty apartment. Subscribe to the Patreon, yeah. so maybe I could leave one day. Yeah. And I, but I, I still prefer my, I just, it's like, why go anywhere? But I see Japan, I'm like, I want to see, I, I've been to Europe a couple of times. I'm like, it's just more churches. This is where we used to keep the Jews. That's my, there's right. another church. This was a, yeah. this was a mosque, but then it, we, we got rid of the Muslims and now it's a church. It's like right. a lot of that, <laughs> but I see Japan. I'm like in cherry blossom season. I want to yeah. go there. Yeah. I want to go there. And, and, and the Japanese, I think might just be the best fans in the world. Yeah. They're so enthusiastic without being like yes. toxic in any way. Yes. <laughs> it's just what every fan should be. Just yes. Earnestly, I love this. I'm polite. I'm just bringing joy. I'm just bringing positive joy. And there's like no <laughs> xenophobia to it. Like there were Daniel right. Ricardo fans there. There yes. were Leclerc. You know, it's they weren't like where you go to Amsterdam, uh the, the Netherlands, right? Where they're all like Right. Max. Or they're yeah. all, you know, when you go to Mexico, it's all Checo. There was like, they were just, they were all, they had their, most were Yuki, but there was this, you saw a smattering of everything and they, they had their amazing hats and they, they, yes. they brought, they just brought it. They brought the fucking energy. Yeah. Um, one guy had a hat that said, respect all drivers. I mean, <laughs> the, the British fans like would never. Right, they would never. Yeah. They're too cool. They, 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 they're, right. they're too buttoned up, and you know they, they don't want to. God forbid you try, right? Right. You know, British people want to take the piss out of people for trying. You know, with Miami and the fake marina, right? God forbid yes. they tried something, right? Yeah, yeah. Japan yeah. is the fake marina, right? They go for it, right? Yeah. They <laughs> fucking go for it, and I love it. Yeah. And um, it was just really amazing to see. I mean, and uh, and the signs, how clever were the fucking signs? I mean, funny, funny senses of humor. The signs were, like, so well done. I mean, the one, arts and crafts. I also love that one guy, uh, someone texted, yeah. I think Alex texted us, like, yeah, one yeah. guy had the, the horrible Ferrari logo that looked like an ant yeah. you know, on a pizza slice. I was like, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that not all of these people are, like, amazing right. at a arts and crafts you know because i was yeah, being yeah. i was being, <laughs> but i gotta say japan they're just the best at taking culture and just perfecting it fan culture they're the mm. best at car culture right. they just take the you know it all goes back to like because i started reading about japan for our deep dive right you know yeah 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 the, in the fourth century, they were going to China, learning about Confucianism, learning about Chinese poetry, taking it, refining it, perfecting it. Right? Yeah. You know, right. the Meiji Restoration, where they opened, where they were forced with gunboat diplomacy, they were forced to open up to the Western world. They they were like, oh fuck, we have to learn about industrial, you know, industrialization, modern economy. They they opened up and they their their economy is insane. Their business practices right. are insane. And, yeah. uh, you know, in a good way, like they're, they, they bring yeah. a whole different ethos to it. And, um, yeah. And they do that same thing with fandom. They're like, how do we take this? Because they have an outsider's perspective. They, 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 they look at something from the outside and they go, okay, the whole world's doing it this way. How do we on our own little Island mm -hmm. make it better? We'll take it right. and we'll make improvements because yes. they're kind of like from the outside looking in. And, and it's just this amazing, um, th th that's just the way they are. It seems they are with everything is that they're able to just like look at something and just take it to the, take it from the nine or the eight to the 10 and like, Oh, I'll take that and I'll leave the rest. Right. You know? Oh, I'll take that enthusiasm, but I'll leave the toxicity at the door. Yeah, you know? it was just so. Every time they cut to the crowd, I was like, yes, like the red flag. <laughs> When the red flag came, I was like, amazing. This will just be 25 minutes of crowd shot, <laughs> which is like a joy. Yes. I mean, did you see the, did you see like the, the, the group of guys that were like dressed up like warriors in the, in the Ferrari gear? 
like there was like five guys all fucking dressed up like warriors with a fucking Ferrari samurai, horse, yeah, Ferrari samurai yes. <laughs> with fucking horse heads on. I mean, there was the one guy who ha- was like had the the Red Bull garb and then like flipped it off and then had the fucking Aston garb. I was like, Silverstone would never. Dude. Yeah. I mean, these you know they had costume changes. They had quick changes. Costume changes, <laughs> quick changes, like like a, like a bride who wants a little bit too much attention. You know what I mean? Like this is <laughs> this is kind of this is you know there was the Oscar fly to the podium, um, uh, Shogun Lando and Samurai Oscar. I mean, the, there was just like <laughs> there was so much joy, and then there was earnestness too. There was someone who just had a Checo never give up thumbs up. <laughs> on a side. <laughs> I mean, there was just, it was amazing. I was like, I yeah. love the Japanese fan base. And there was, and not only is the fan base amazing, but they have fucking Yuki Sonoda as their, yeah. their you know, representative. On yeah, show. and there was the kid that was like skipping school. It was like, teacher, I'm skipping school. Sorry. <laughs> of like, hey, maybe yeah. don't, hey, hey, maybe don't blow yourself up by going on TV, but um, don't make it hot. <laughs> Although Japan, they do have like an absurd amount of school. I remember learning that. Mm-hmm. That was like the one thing we learned about J- Japan when I was in public school. They're like, they have a uh, nine hundred days of school, so shouldn't right. you feel lucky? <laughs> and we're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, don't complain, aka shut up, shut the fuck up, and don't complain about the hours that we. They're in yeah. school like 362 days out of the year. Um, there was the one sign that said, Honda is my last name, but boy, do I love red flags. <laughs> like, oh, they're a fan of the pod. And then it was like, yeah. oh, no, they're talking about Charles and yeah. Carlos Sainz. But, you know, yeah. still nothing but nothing but respect. I, we got it. Like, that's if we're going to go, you know, it's like now as we were like, oh, maybe we can go to more races. The one race I Suzuka. really want to fucking go to is Suzuka. Suzuka. I'm yeah. dying to go to fucking Suzuka. I don't think it, I don't think the flight's so bad from L.A. either expense yeah. was yeah, so. yeah 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 we gotta we gotta fucking figure that out that hey that's any the- japanese fans if you have like one of those little cubicles <laughs> that uh-huh. brian and i could sleep in together you know those those rooms right. that are like <laughs> yep <laughs> like coffins brian and yeah, i will yeah, share yeah. a coffin we'll sleep in a cot while we're we're chilling yeah um yeah, and you know what? The way it's looking right now, Yuki Tsunoda is going to be in Formula 1 for a very fucking long time. So that's awesome. I, w- I want to go off on this for a second. I said this already on, yeah. on Instagram or TikTok. Yuki Tsunoda, it's like, does he have a future in F1? Why does Alex Albon, like, oh, he's safe. He's considered one of the safe. Like, he, Alex right. Albon is not in the bottom, if we're doing a Love Island. He's never in yeah, the yeah. bottom three. Three, he's, yeah. He's never, like, fucked at the fire pit. You're never worried about Alex Albon in the fire pit when all he's been doing is beating the two worst drivers on the grid consistently. Right. He beat Nicholas (laughs) Latifi and he beat Logan Sargent. Okay. That's those are the only two guys he's beaten after being shit out of the Red Bull program for not being able to cut it. Okay. Yeah. It's harsh. Many people, it's happened to many people. You know, it, it's not it's no it's not to bes- besmirch him, but that's what happened. Ever since he was shat out of the Red Bull program, all he's been managed to do is beat Logan Sargent and Nicholas Latifi. But yet, there's no skepticism about his driving ability. Whereas right. Yuki is now bodying Daniel Ricciardo, and yeah. he's still f- fucking fucked at the fire pit. It it, it seems like. Yeah. Whereas yeah, yeah. Lando Norris. Mm-hmm. He, when he came in, people were like, oh, he might be good. He's young. He's exciting. He did good in F, uh, F2. He did uh-huh. good in F3. Um, yes. Didn't beat Signs, right? Signs came in, right. but they're like, okay, he's young. Signs showed him up a bit, but he's young. We've we'll, got to give him some time. And then Lando right, beat right. Daniel Ricciardo. And everyone's like, oh, yes. wait. Lando's the shit. That was yeah. when Lando made his star turn. That that's was so when, true. Like, that's when Land people were like, "Wait a minute, Lando might be at Verstappen level. He might yeah, be." Yeah, 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 people yeah. started throwing his name around because of what right. he did to Daniel Ricciardo. Yes, because of that comparison, is yes. Daniel worse than he was at McLaren? Probably right. not. He's probably right. the same. 
So why yes. can't Yuki get that same? Why can't Yuki be considered as good as Lando Norris? <laughs> <laughs> These are the questions that we alone ask. <laughs> but 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 literally, yeah, that was Lando's star making performance. That was one hundred percent. What what was like? Um, that was his. Uh, you know. You know, Sydney Sweeney does Euphoria, or or yeah, or right. Jeremy Strong does Succession. It was, you know, okay, he's a list now, right? Where Yuki does goes gets on Succession. Yuki does his guest spot, and nobody gives a shit, <laughs> you know, <laughs> except us, dude. Except, except us. We're like, wait a minute, Yuki was on Euphoria, and he ate as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, a hundred percent. And that, you know, it's a, it's a good point with, with regards to Albon as well, because like, you know, I, I've, I've kind of drank the Kool-Aid. I've drank the Albon Kool-Aid, but then when I'm looking at what's going on with Williams, I'm like, oh yeah, this whole chassis thing that they're, that is plaguing them right now. <laughs> Obviously it's James Vowles' fault, but also it's fucking Albon's fault because he destroyed the chassis. So then fucking Logan Sargent is is using this fucking Frankenstein chassis that they fucking put together with nuts and fucking bolts. And, you know, even though we can get into his crash and fucking, you know, P1. Hey, James, um, got some data for you. Yeah. If you only have two cars and you lose one, I'm not a math guy, but then all of a sudden you don't have you don't have enough cars. Yeah. You only, you know. Yeah, two minus two one, minus one e equals one. What? One. Yeah, we're gonna so, have one car. But it's like inexcusable for yeah. either of those guys to fuck up and free practice like they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Alex, La Alex, you know, Logan got a lot of stick for doing it, but Alex, I mean, it's yeah. I mean, they knew the situation. We're not the first ones to say this. They must have known that's like, hey guys, you don't have a chassis spare so you guys can't be right. binning it especially in in free practice right you know it's one thing if you're you know pushing in adrenaline but you know we talk about practice yeah we're talking about not the game not qualifying not the race practice yeah. practice no it's crazy and i mean i also want to i, I want to cook a little bit more on fucking james vows because oh yeah today uh, let me just take a. Let me set a timer. I'm gonna take a this nap. This <laughs> pit stop, dude. This pit stop. If you're gonna be, if you're, if William to the Williams organization, if you're gonna be the organization that doesn't have the fucking system, right? You don't have yeah. the newest iPhone. You don't have the newest iOS. You're using Excel and not whatever is better than that in some whatever way. And you only have two fucking chassis. And it's you're just you're you don't have the advantages that the other teams have. The things that you can control, you better be fucking on point of the shit that you can control. So mm, you know you're please. fucking the rest of your organization should be fucking on point. Um, and the the main thing that you can control is the fucking pit stops, and you make sure Brian, that your fucking pit crew is on point. Brian, if you can't get your dick up, you better eat pussy. You better eat that pussy good. If your di exactly. if your dick is not working, you better fucking yes worship that. You know, you right you better break your nose in that shit. Uh huh. Yes. And 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 until you pass the fuck out. No, a hundred percent, dude. I mean, there's more ways to get the fucking job done, and this is why it's fucking important. This is the moment where it's important, where Logan actually might get fucking points in this race. Yeah. And then five people go into the pits. I mean, who, okay, who went, who went into the pits? It was Sonoda, K Mag. So it was Sonoda, K Mag, Stroll, Botas, and Sargent. Five of them <laughs> all go into the pits at once. <laughs> that was amazing. That was the best moment of the race. It was fucking incredible. And, um, and, we obviously know that Botas, you know, whatever the fuck is going on over he was, there, their pit stops are a fucking nightmare. That was, was never going to happen. But <laughs> but Haas has a slow pit stop. Yeah. Haas has a bad pit stop. And then it's like, oh, Sergeant, you can gain two places here. Yeah. But no, the Williams fucking organization with their two fucking chassis 
fuck up the pit stop. And you know who doesn't fuck up the pit stop? Yuki fucking Sonoda and the V-Carb team. And all of a sudden, Yuki gains three places or something like that in that pit stop. And I got to say, I and then Yuki was like, I just want to thank I, I just want to thank everybody at the Academy. <laughs> Thanks to yeah. the team. Really? I want to I want to thank you know everybody at SAG. I'm Yuki Sonoda. I'm running for Congress in the 12th district of whatever. I mean, yeah. he's like a, he's just, he's just a new, new Yuki. He's just like trying to be, you know, yeah. it's, what was it? It was, it was, it was a long time ago that he tried to kill Daniel Ricardo. That was ages ago. That is in the rear view. We can't even see that shit anymore. He's a whole new guy. Yeah. No, but like, that's a moment where it's just like, you know, these guys that pontificate about how to do the thing, they, like, they overpromise and they under fucking deliver. That's what, to me, that's kind of what James, that's the James Vows vibe. And it's also the Toto vibe. It's just like, there's an overpromising, we do things the right way here. We do things the right, you know, we, we cross our T's and we dot our I's. It's like, no, actually, you fucking don't. You don't have enough cars. You don't have your drivers under the fucking, you know, right headspace because Sergeant was t carrying five kilometers per hour faster speed around those corners than he fucking should have been and bins it in fucking FP1. Albon bins it during fucking free practice as well. And you were fucked with chassis wise. Like you actually don't have. Well, he was actually the people at Williams are grumbling because it's like, yeah, asshole. We know we don't have enough chat like because 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 there's a bit of vibes around vowels like i've inherited just such a yeah right. herculean yeah. task yes, like yes williams yes. is was when i got here it's it's um you know I, i'm you know the dog whisperer here i'm i'm inheriting yeah. you know right. just <laughs> just this horrible situation i'm caesar milan and it's like and i forgot who 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 came out i was like we knew that xl like you think we didn't know that having everything on xl was bad Right. Like right. we knew yeah, it's yeah. just like they, they they just weren't allowed to spend the money on yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the infrastructure without it eating into their cost cap. So it's like yeah. these guys are very good at explaining the problems and and sort of using business school speak on how they're going to attack things. You know, it's yeah. a lot of fucking sound and fury and signifying nothing. Just do the fucking work. Stop talking about the work. Just do right. the fucking work. You know, for, you know, Komatsu, right? Komatsu, he was mm -hmm. like, we're going to suck. This is going to be a disaster. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're going to be mm -hmm. horrible. Like, yep. and then, you know, and then they got their heads down and they're actually not so bad. Right. You know, they're not so bad. They're right around the same place as everybody else. Um, they just do the work. Um, not fucking just do a media op every 30 seconds there was a world where logan Sargent scored points today there was a world where that that where that yeah if he if he had kept it on the track well no if it, they, that was once once that happened like he was already out by that point i'm saying that if right. they had put it if they had you know nailed that pit stop he would have come out ahead he would have been in yuki's position he would have been in yuki's position under more pressure people... under more pressure yeah who knows yeah well obviously <laughs> logan split it. i don't I'm not fucking putting my mortgage on that, but fucking Logan Sargent, you know, there's just a world where the team act, ultimately it was he failed the team and then the team failed. Team him, failed and that's him. That's what fucking happened. And it's a bit of karma. It's a bit of karma, honestly, for them with this whole chassis thing. It's like, well, we got to do the smart move. And it's like, well, you know, now now Logan's been the car and Alex has yeah. been the car. It's a bit of karma. Well, now Logan's taking extra speed because he has a point to prove. And he's yeah, he's like, I'll show you yeah. that you're absolutely right, right in your decision yeah. to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, kids, I think the kids got to go. You know what else? You know what other team is absolutely atrocious? Sour. I mean, I think, no, is, I think, is Alpine the worst car on this fucking grid? Obviously. Obviously. I mean, it seemed like every time. This like I saw an Alpine on screen today, it was getting passed. I mean, it was like every time it was getting fucking passed. You know, it was the most. You know, I. It's a slow car. There's no if sands. It's the slowest car on the grid. It's and it's a and it's yeah. a manufacturer, which is just 
atrocious. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 a manufacturer which is at the back of the grid, right? Yeah. It's the it's the, it's the uh, second worst manufacturer. It's it's the worst manufacturer. The second worst manufacturer is Mercedes, actually, which is now just solidly a midfield team. But we'll get to them yes. in a second. Just yeah, that Mercedes yeah, yeah, yeah. is just a midfield team. <laughs> it's like yeah. it's like where it's like where Alpine used to be right now. Right. It, yeah. Just P five, P six. Good yeah. result. Good result for Mercedes. Whoo! Right. Well, I like to thank everybody back at the factory for getting us P five, P six. Fucking pathetic. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. pathetic. But we'll get to them in a second. Yeah. I really can't stand Esteban Ocon. I <laughs> cannot stand him. Yeah. yeah the yeah, way yeah. he celebrates like a mm-hmm. like he won the Super Bowl when he yeah. gets to Q2. Yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah. I could almost excuse. Yeah. But then he <laughs> goes slower in Q2 than he did in Q1 because you know what? Right. He Beat Pierre, and that's all he gives a fuck about. Yeah. He he gets knocked out in Q2, and then he just goes, yeah. oh, okay, you know, you do what you can. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, because yeah. he <laughs> doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't, he just, all he wants to do is beat Pierre. Yeah. And I was just really upset. Like, yeah. <laughs> who who celebrates like that? Getting out of Q2 when you're a manufacturer, when you're a manufacturer, and you're fucking the the people of France, like this is the yeah. French, the French owned team, right? French the owned on team. You're representing your yeah, fucking yeah. country and you're just whooping like a fucking idiot. Have some respect. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You're fighting for your career, right? Right. You want, I like inside he can be coming, but don't right, broadcast right, right. it. Yeah. You yeah, should yeah, be yeah. pissed that you're out in Q2. This is unacceptable. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah, he was and to go slower yeah. in Q two with the track evolution. It's because you're like, well, I beat Pierre, and I could just fucking take Q two off. That's what's happening. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'll start in fifteenth. I don't give a shit. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Who cares? I yeah. beat Pierre. Yeah. I mean, the yeah, it's a it's a mess. They they came together. They hit. Um. Bruno. They're just so sl- it's crazy. I mean, the car doesn't pass the eye test. You look at it and you're like, that looks fucking slow. <laughs> like, it just looks slow. It looks different. It looks I mean, like the a- nose is so drastically big. It's crazy. Yeah. You know, you know it's bad when you and I could tell the difference. I'm like, whoa, yeah. that's a <laughs> big clunky looking fucking car. That needs yeah, to that, that, that needs to go empty. on the uh, that needs to go on the Trump Ozempic plan, that car. That's, that's right. Yeah, that that <laughs> <laughs> and you start injecting Ozempic into the tires, dude. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, you know, change your. Appetite. Well, it was overweight. It's literally that right. car was overweight. Right. Um. Yeah. And Bruno Famine. I just, I'm, I'm just so horny also for Bruno Famine. Like after last year, you know, you know, just another management guy. Yeah, and just, just like, another fucking bureaucratic creature. Just being like i know how to fucking manage yeah dancing on otmar's grave and then fucking like taking credit for what otmar built like getting you know pierre gets the podium and he gets to think that like he did something to make that happen it's like no you didn't do shit actually this is this is what your management looks like 2024 yeah a joke a joke um all right so qualifying else? yeah qualify i mean yuki and i i i want to say one thing about daniel ricardo i think all things i know like it was this the race was tough for him but i think overall not that bad a weekend for him yeah he, he was, was closer to yuki in qualifying i mean he was like 0.05 you know he was like five hundredths of a second closer to yuki and then, you know, we had the crash. The crash was, you know, argue, you know, his fault. It was his Certainly fault. Certainly not Albon's fault. It was Definitely his fault. His fault. I, I like to think he saw Stroll and he was like, oh, yeah. fuck, here he comes. Yeah, yeah. And he was yeah. very preoccupied with Stroll. Yes. Because Stroll yes. in an opener, in the opening laps, you're very, because you know Stroll's not looking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not looking in his mirrors. So. I he's not because if you you know it, it, at first you thought oh you know he was making room for Stroll, but there was plenty of room. But I think he was leaving more allowance for Stroll. 
Yeah. I think he was overcompensating because it was Stroll. I think if it was like Lewis or something next to him or somebody that he trusts a little more. Right, right, right. I think we're overestimating or underestimating how much Daniel Ricciardo was scared of him specifically. Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, there's a but, few of those guys. Yeah. Stroll, Magnuson. Just guys who are you're like, oh fuck, I don't want to be anywhere near this guy. I want to leave George, just George, George Russell. George Russell. Just George guys you don't Russell, want to fuck around with. George Russell going after Piastri was crazy, dude. I'm like, can you just finish a race, dude? Can you just <laughs> finish a race? <laughs> Piastri also doesn't he's, he's also one yeah. of those guys who doesn't give a fuck either. Right. He won't move. He's like he, and his blood, his he, you know, his BPM. That that oh, BPM yeah. never going above sixty. Well, after he ran him off track, he Piastri says he didn't give me anywhere to go in the chicane. <laughs> I had to cut. You fucking for real. And he gave me nowhere to go. I had to cut. So <laughs> completely, I mean, unaffected. Looking for his vape. Meanwhile, George is in the car, like literally, like <laughs> seething at the mouth. Yeah, like looks like a fucking rabid animal in yeah. that helmet. I bet. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, Oscar. But I, I, I. I think, like, I just think, you know, Ricardo. It's not, you know, it's been a, it's been a rough start. There were rumors. There's been these rumors that like Red Bull's ready to fucking, you know, toss him out the seat and put Liam in the seat. And certainly, when when Ricardo was out, and then he was like sitting at the fucking, he was at the monitors, and then like Liam was like right behind him in that shot. I was like, oh, there he is. <laughs> He's just waiting in the wings, ready to kill you, dude. Just ready to take your seat within a fucking moment's notice. But I think overall, like, actually not that bad. We, at least he was on the pace with Yuki. At least he was on the pace in qualifying with Yuki. Yeah. And he's doing this thing where he's like, you know. wants a new chassis. Right. It's weird because he wants a new yeah. chassis. It's like a little bit out damn spot. Yeah. It's never yeah. good yeah. when yeah, you yeah. want a new chassis. The, the last time I heard about this, right. I remember Mazepin wanted a new chassis. That yeah. was the last time we heard about it. He's like, ah, this chassis, yeah. it's yeah, not, yeah. it's, there's a couple of grams difference in weight, blah, blah, blah. Right. But now it's like you made this whole stink about a new chassis and now you're five hundredths off. So wait, was it the chassis? Because now yeah. it seems like the chassis is fine. I don't know. Right. I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't speak highly of no. It's it's uh, yeah of where he's, I know, he's at in a tough spot mentally. He's in a he's in a tough spot in his career. It's like it now is the it's looming because I think if he doesn't pull it together like midway through the season, they'll pull the trigger. They'll put they'll put Lawson in the seat. Like if if maybe if China him, honestly, yeah, China. I mean, at least he qualified closer, but it's just. Um, it's not good it's not good yeah. but, but what happened you know what do we do yeah. with yuki you know if he keeps beating him like what happens what happens with our give boy him the fucking red bull seat. give him the red bull seat uh no i don't know about that i don't know about that man i think it's it's boring it would be nice just because yep. you know we're so bored we just want to see yeah. new shit just why not yeah. throw carlos in there throw nando in there just throw anybody in there but if you're red bull it's like i mean we say different things every week but you know perez it's just like if he just does this every week 15 seconds off right. the pace from max good enough yeah good enough yeah second place second place that's second place good enough good enough give keep the seat although it was weird because when christian horner came on the radio he's like ah you know i guess it seems like they had a bet going Oh, with uh, Max? Uh, with 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 Checo. Okay. It's like, oh, I needed more motivation, blah, blah, blah. I think there was like some kind of a, allusion to a bet that, oh, that, that Checo bet Christian that he could get on the front row and qualifying. Mm. I'm like, that's never a good sign where you're like betting against your employee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just like, hey, Jenny, Jenny, I bet you $500 you can't edit this podcast by tomorrow. Like, does that yeah. show <laughs> Does that show a lot of... I mean, you're trying to encourage them. I get it. But it's like... Right, right, right. right. That's not a yeah. great starting, starting point, you know? 
<laughs> Jenny's like, I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's what I do fucking anyway. Um, but you know what's kind of unthinking with regards to Checo? That like if he just sticks around, if he just keeps getting second place, is like uh, with a little bit of luck. Is there a world where, like, all of a sudden it's, like, getting down to the wire, Max has, like, a crash, or Max has another tire blowout, things. or some sh- I mean, it's not the... Cr- I mean, if, if Checo really is continuing to, like, get in that second spot, like, and something happens mid-season, and, you know... Yeah, but then, but that's it, but that's been his problem. That's been his problem. But he's been consistent, but now, right now... Right, he's because he's not trying... This is the fuck. Yes, because he's not the, trying to be. Max. He's not trying to be Max. Yes, he's not trying to win the WDC. He's just trying to keep his seat. But right. once the fucking, once the precious yeah. falls out, like once the ring, <laughs> it, he's Gollum, yes. right? He right now he's Gollum, and he's yeah. happy to lead Frodo up the mountain. Right, 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 right. right. But once yeah. the ring sort of slips out, and he's like, hey. yeah. yeah, then he starts acting crazy. But right now they're like Gollum. He's like, you know, yes, Sam and Frodo. Like, well, I will lead right, you. Right, right, right. That's what it is. Yeah. They've gotten they've gotten Gollum to to just be a helper and just just help right <laughs> help Max, who I guess is Fro- He's the least Frodo person yeah. that's ever Frodoed. But um, but Max, I guess, is Frodo in this shitty metaphor. The the problem mm-hmm. is, is once you get a whiff of the precious, it it all goes right tits up and that's been yeah. but but he's been good the last couple of days last couple of weeks right he's just been right but if if max is vulnerable he's gonna well you know it's like it, it's you know in australia max was out and he was only to get able to get p5 now you well, know, that was because he granted, qualified poorly that was before. he qualified poorly and it also seemed like red bull was a little bit like off they didn't really understand what was going on with their car in australia but What's also interesting with the with the Perez thing is that it's like his way towards actually potentially winning the WDC is not by just beating Max. It's by like hanging around and then picking up cleaning the up scraps yeah. if there are any, picking up the pieces. And like that's actually the mentality where he's going to cruise into being second place and not be like battling in the last race you know what i mean like he will cruise into second place and who knows if with a with a little bit of luck maybe actually have a chance at fucking you know winning the wdc with a lot of luck but still that's the way to actually do it not by like trying to go toe-to-toe with max by literally like being his in his slipstream Mm -hmm. and trying to get lucky yeah it's just it's just tough mentally to do that to just you're Don't. an al- you've been an alpha your whole life. Right. And they're like, okay, so the <laughs> only way that you're gonna survive is you gotta carry this be guy's water and be a beta. Right. You know? Yes. That's right. I mean, speaking about like switching to beta, mm-hmm. I mean Lewis Hamilton today being like, Do you wanna switch? Oh yeah. I was like, Yeah. It was like a Santa <laughs> finding out Santa isn't real. I was like, what the fuck uh-huh. is going on? Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm Jewish. I never believed yeah. in Santa, but that was like I was like, Lewis, what are you doing? Yeah, what is yeah. happening right now? Say he it doesn't isn't... care, dude. If anything, I read that as like a power move. I was like, does George want this shitty place? Sure, whatever, <laughs> he can have it. <laughs> I mean, Lewis fans, <laughs> Lewis fans that. are really tying themselves in knots. They're like, he's tinkering with the setups. He's doing this. He's doing that. He doesn't care, and it's just like. What does George have to George? There's literally nothing George could do at this point. <laughs> no, there's nothing he could do, really, no. um, to right. um, to convince Lewis fans that he has the upper hand. This it's a, that this is the kind of world we live in right now. Mm-hmm. Sports politics. By the way, yeah. there's nothing. There's nothing George could do to me either that could convince me that yeah, he's yeah, a better yeah, driver. Yeah. I'm like <laughs> Lewis is checked out. He doesn't care. You know, he's, 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 he's looking at pictures of Roscoe in the car. He's, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's looking at property in Marinello, whatever the fuck he's yeah. doing. <laughs> he's not racing, which is really kind of depressing that, you know, that, that, that George is doing well and it just doesn't, just half the, half the fan base doesn't care. 
But but let me right. just let me just hold you to that for a second. Let me just right. take what you're saying because I believe it too. Yeah, it's like okay, mm-hmm. he doesn't care, and maybe this is just a healthier way to be. It's like okay, you know, I got to marshal my energy and my resources for next year, right. and it's like, what's the mm-hmm. big fucking deal? Also, he might be. He I know he's usually more conservative with his tires, right? He's like, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. This guy, he's going to blow his load. You know, he's going to come right. too quick and I'll be there to pick up the pieces. Yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah, then, yeah. but he let George through and then they gave George, they gave George the undercut. They gave George a better strategy. So I didn't, it's like, ah, oh, that sucks. Cause Lewis qualified better. He was ahead. Right. When you stay ahead, yeah. when you're ahead, you usually get the preferential strategy. So Lewis, but it's just like, when you're trying to be the goat, you can't be losing to teammates. Like, this is just going to be a fucking thing that people point to. Or is that just an exhausting way to live? Oh, Vankas, this episode is brought to you by June Shine, baby. You might have seen June Shine around. They might be your go-to adult beverage. You know what they're famous for? They're famous for the hard kombuchas, right? But guess what? They're doing cocktails, too, now, baby. And June Shine makes the best and cocktail on the planet. Most specifically, this week we're talking about the June Shine Tequila Margarita. They're next level and they start at 10% alcohol, baby, okay? That's one and a half to two shots. But you get it in a can. Gotta love it! They're made with real spirits and real fruit and taste incredible and have no added sugars. They're insanely delicious. They're light and refreshing. The buzz is legit with that 10% and they're ridiculously convenient. No mess, no stress, no BS. It's in a can. You got to love when it's easy and it's just in a can. You pop it, it gets the little, it gets the little, and then you drink it. We're doing it with that June Shine Tequila Margarita, okay? Honestly, I've been drinking June Shine for a while. I love the, I, I'm, I'm, I love a little kombucha moment. I love kombucha. It helps with my gut. And so whenever I, I drink, well, I have the experience of when I'm, I'm drinking a June Shine, I think like, oh, I'm being a little bit healthy. And that's just like, a, that's good for me in my soul. So th- that could be fucking you too. They're a total crowd pleaser. Everyone loves drinking them. They're great for the summer. Summer's coming up, baby. We're getting that summer body. We're getting it going. Spring is uh, is coming. The sun's coming out. It's starting to get a little warmer. Time to get your June Shine, okay? June Shine can be found in over 10,000 stores across the country. It's available in retailers. You are already visiting from groceries and alcohol like Whole Foods, Target, Ralph's, Vons, Albertsons, Trader Joe's, Kroger, Wegmans, Total Wine, BevMo, Safeway, and more, baby. They're everywhere. And they're also on the Red Flags podcast. Head to juneshine.com to find where their margaritas are near you, baby. Okay, now back to the show. I think it's an exhausting way to live. And I I think about Lewis in this point of his career, similarly kind of like to how (laughs) LeBron plays basketball now. Like, if you watch LeBron, like, he's, you know, in his late 30s, and he's like, he just takes plays off. Like, he's like, he's just, you know, he'll just, you know, and then, but then when it's time to sprint and time for him to fucking get in there, he'll do it. But, like, you pick and choose your spots. But if he cares about, if he cares about the Michael comparisons, yeah, Michael's not losing to teammates like this. I know, but the the way he but he's like not concerned. The, the way that he wants to beat Michael, the people that are who are not going to fuck who always will always say Michael will always say Michael regardless. But what, that's just going to give them more ammo. But he, I mean, Michael lost to fucking Nico Rosberg and like towards the end of his career, like it wasn't necessary. You know, he like as when he got older, right? When 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 Michael was in is at the, around the same age as where Lewis is now, but like you know. The way that he actually beats Michael is if he gets the eighth. So he's like, I'm not going to bother myself trying to, like, you know, keep up with the Johnny Hustle over here. <laughs> you know, that's what it is. Like, fucking George is, like, diving for every loose ball. And yeah. George is fucking, like, so I'm gonna they're down my, by 20, I'm gonna hurt but myself. George is still. I'm going to hurt myself trying to keep up with this kid. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I remember when we were, I remember this when, when this was like, I don't even know if this actually happened, but in my, I have this burned in memory for, of us from childhood. And it was like, we were playing middle school basketball and we were like getting our ass kicked. And it was like the last couple minutes of the game. We were maybe down 10 or 12. And I was, it, but like I was in and our whole team was kind of like, all right, like we lost this one. Like let's, no, let's just wait this out. And I was playing, I was like, Come on, guys. And I was playing like lockdown lockup defense. <laughs> and I remember being so mad 
that like the rest like you and adrian and billy like everyone was just kind of like all right like we lost let's go you know let's go hang out with our girlfriends because you all had girlfriends and I didn't. <laughs> so I didn't have anything else. So I needed to, us to win. So I was like, come on guys. And I was like playing lockdown D and like, that's George. George is like, come on guys. We could get the most out of this weekend. And, and Lewis is like, I mean, this is, I mean, what's the even point of getting out of bed, right guys? Like, what are we doing? Yeah. I mean, it was iconic when he did say, oh, it was one of my favorite moments of the race when he goes, change this strategy. <laughs> that was iconic. And then they that just did amazing. it. And then they just didn't. They just yeah. lied to him. They're like, yeah, we're right. gonna, but, you know. Right, right, right. I don't know how much they respect his strategy. Right. He, he's pretty passive when it comes to accepting strategy. Him and Max, they don't mm-hmm. really get too... They put up mm-hmm. a fight, but they ultimately listen. Whereas I got to say, right, I was right, kind right. of impressed. I mean, we'll get into. Leclerc had a signsy race today. He did. He had a signsy race. race. He was like, you know they what? Swapped, they swapped positions. positions. Leclerc was like, you yeah. know what? I'm going to make it work on the mediums and I'm just going to like hang out. Right. And save. Yeah. And I, I qualified yeah. like shit. Yeah. That's, this is, science fans, this is, this is what signs, for all the memories you repressed of him just qualifying like <laughs> shit, this is what he did every week. And this is why he right, finished right, right, close right. to Leclerc. Leclerc would put a great at qualifying lap in, qualify where yeah. the car was supposed to be, and then signs would do some nifty shit. Yeah. Great strategy, great tire maintenance. And then and then he'd show up right behind. He'd show he'd be he ended up right behind uh Leclerc. And you'd be like, how the fuck did Signs yeah. how did Signs qualify ninth and end up here? <laughs> because he would do some crafty shit. And I was very impressed yeah. with Leclerc's tire maintenance and his ability yep. to call his shot and be like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. This is what I wanna do. Mm-hmm. And one of my favorite parts of the race was when Leclerc said how many people in front of me have to pit? And they said, mm-hmm. everybody. And you could just feel Leclerc just coming in his pants. He was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes. 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 The, for the first time in his life, for the first right, time in his strategy. fucking life, he, 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 it's like, I remember there was those, um, there was these like little Tykes commercials when we were kids. And you'd see uh-huh. like a kid walking around in his diapers, and it, there was these songs that would say th- there was a kid singing, "I'm a big kid now," and it was like, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was his. I'm a big kid now. Like I fucking, right. I, I pulled, I, I qualified poorly, and I, and I, and I, and I cleaned up my mess by myself. Yes, I was a man. Right. I fucking took responsibility mm-hmm. for my mistakes, and I didn't fucking leave it to fucking Zavi, whoever the fuck, <laughs> to dig me out of this. I did it myself. Right. I it was. I yeah. was very proud of him. Yeah. Now we have. No, to, it was. A, it was a great. I mean, yeah. It was a great. It was a. Hey, Science had a better weekend. But I'm. Yeah. So, I'm so sick of this week to week bullshit i'm so sick of all this fake news yeah (laughs) science has two good races and all of a sudden he's better first of all all of a sudden he's better than charles leclerc and lewis hamilton like shut the fuck up yeah yeah fake news stories fake news stories they're fake just like this (laughs) vettel going to mercedes like Oh, F1, shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. It's like, are we are we so out of things to talk about that we're actually going to entertain this for a minute? Do we remember the last... Guess what? Remember the last time he was in a good team? Was, was Ferrari. Leclerc ran him out on a fucking rail four years ago when he was four years younger and, you know, and probably gave more of a fuck. Mm-hmm. And he beat Stroll by like when he was at Aston Martin. He beat Stroll by like I don't know two tenths. Alonso's put like four or five trade. tenths on him. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, they they would trade a bit more when 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 Vettel and uh, and uh, 
and Stroll were together. This is it was so a bit not about. happening. And anybody who talks about and, yeah. this <laughs> is just pisses me off. Well, it's people that like it's it's the kind of there's the delusional Seb fans who are who are out there and who are a plenty who just kind of like why well, we want Seb back. It's like you think that that what it's been two years now that he's been out, right? Yeah, it was last year the first year that he was out? I think he's keep I, like is he still in fucking racing shape? I don't think so. He barely seemed in racing shape, but he was towards the end of his career. <laughs> I mean, just be happy he's got four championships, which seems like a lot. Yeah. Um, I, 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 he just seems like... When he was young you and hungry. Well, no, when you compare him to someone like Alonzo, who has two. Right. It yeah, just yeah, seems yeah. like a lot of championships. Yeah. For the Cal- He's a very good driver, but is he, is he twice the amount of championships as Alonzo? And, um, like three quarters or whatever, two thirds of the championships of Lewis. Mm -hmm. No, maybe Mick Schumacher will come back too. you know, Toto has relationships with him too. He's also what else. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I think it would be uh, if, if Toto puts Antonelli in the seat, I think it's a baller move. I'm like, that's a good aggressive move. From Toto. Well, you know, it's not that much pressure. It's a midfield team. Not m- not much expectations. Right. I mean, real seriously, Literally. it's not. It's, it's crazy. N- it's crazy how midfield they are. They are they're, Alpine last year. They're, they're, That's what they they're, are. They're worse right. than, they are worse than um, McLaren. And mm-hmm. Fernando Alonso's Aston Martin. Right. Yeah, they're worse than their two customer or they're worse than two of their customer teams pathetic yeah and for so yeah right now right now right now they're in fourth right? with 34 points aston martin's in in fifth with 33 points so that is up for grabs no, that's if <laughs> with start, one fucking car they, with one fucking car with one fucking car no aston martin car. has a better car and they have aston martin has a better car they have a exactly because because um mercedes but, no, has a better driver know, line do they do they matt do they do they have a better do they have a better car because um one second let me just pull this up you right know there. Alonzo's been saying it's unbelievable how bad <laughs> how bad on the speed car on the streets man like it's like we're in a different category man <laughs> that was the great I mean that was this is that's why this sport is like really the greatest thing ever it, like the, the television programming is just next level yeah. you get to hear. Uh, <laughs> we get to hear a billionaire son <laughs> on his car radio squealing about how bad the car he is. sounded I mean, like was he was kind of laughing though he was like yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. different category like he yeah i mean he was like fuck it yeah <laughs> what, the, what the fuck do you want me to do with this fucking shit <laughs> it was giving like it was giving <laughs> It was giving like I asked my dad for the turbo engine in my Porsche and he didn't give me the turbo engine. And uh, <laughs> I remember there was this kid we went to school with and his dad gave him a Porsche and I was just like, fuck this kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that kid sucked. But um, um, he didn't even seem, yeah, he seemed like he was laughing. He seemed like like throwing his hands up. Right. No, he's exhausted by that, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, some people the were Aston speculating, car, some people were speculating that he had yeah. more wing on his car. Mm. Because like he's just not as good a driver, like Nando can handle less wing. Right. Cuz he can right, make right. it work. So yeah. he can have more straight line speed. But less right. but less downforce. Whereas like if you give Lance less downforce, he'll fucking put it in the wall. He needs the mm-hmm. he needs the training wheels, right? Um, but that was sick when they put him on the softs and he was just fucking sending it, up <laughs> for. sending it. There were a bunch of really great overtakes. I mean, Yuki, both, Yuki, Yuki had a bunch of great overtakes. Yeah, on the fucking S's yeah. had a bunch of great overtakes. This race was actually pretty great. Yeah, like some interesting strategy stuff, which was kind of hurting my brain. But um, didn't understand McLaren bringing Norris in when they brought him in. Mm-hmm. They were like, "We got to cover Russell." I was like, well, "How is Russell a factor in this?" Like, I feel like Russell. I feel like McLaren fucked up the strategy 
for Norris. Um, Mm -hmm. But I don't think, I mean, I don't think it was on for Norris in terms of like catching signs. Didn't feel that way. Right. Didn't feel, I feel like, I feel like Ferrari had a bit of race car. And Norris just did well in qualifying, maybe qualify a little out of position. Yeah, exactly. No, he he qualified ahead of where the car actually was. I think Norris kind of like wound up in the place where he was ultimately maybe supposed to. Though, you know, last there was this there was this kind of looming threat last year of Oscar, and so far we haven't really seen it this year. Last year, Oscar was like putting a little bit more pressure on Lando, and this year, like he, he actually had more points. Like, he actually had more points than him coming into this race, but I, I'm pretty sure he had more points than him coming into this race. But this was a bad race for Oscar. He was, yeah. He well, he was only like he was pretty close to him in qualifying. I gotta say, but mm-hmm. you know the 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 gap is so close now. I mean, between not Red yeah. Bull but the other teams, you know, if you're right, you know, half a tenth off, that could mean a place or a couple places. So, yeah. but he was very far off from Lando. Um, he made he a was couple. Seventeen. Of, he finished the race seventeen seconds behind Lando. But that was partially because he was just eating Nando's ass the whole. He was just human centipeding right. uh, Nando. <laughs> just stuck behind him. Well, Nando and and Nando just fucking doing pulling a pulling a Carlos Sainz. Yeah, right. Just just keeping Piastri in the DRS range yeah, to stave off George. Oscar just gets stuck behind some fucking guys sometimes. I think he often gets stuck yeah, behind yeah, yeah. Nando, whereas Norris just. Is able to qualify a little better, get in front of Nando, and not have to yeah. deal with and then that he's just nightmare. In clear air. And then he's just in clear air. Norris is just with- a, yeah, Norris is just in clear air because he's competing with the Ferraris and the fucking Red Bulls. So he's just like, oh, like I'm just alone. Yeah, here. he has like, his own race. Like, he, he's kind of yeah. dancing with myself. Uh, 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 dancing right, right, with right, right. myself. But um, I mean, he kind of is dancing with himself because I mean. Oscar didn't really challenge him. I think that the degradation of this, this is a high deg track and I don't, I, he hasn't, yeah. he hasn't, he worked, hasn't out worked it out. I mean, he's, he's, how many years do we give him before it's like, I don't think it, I don't think we ring the alarm bells yet, but no. how many but, seasons? Yeah. Is it three? Three seasons. I mean, he signed up till twenty six, right? So I think like certainly McLaren will be have a moment where they're you know by then they'll have to decide. But he's still, I mean, he's still solid. Like he's never bad. It's just whether he's like. It's a question of like, is he a future champion? Is he like uh, like I said before? Like I said be before, legend? who has Lando? Lando's been on podiums. He's put that McLaren high up. Hmm. But if you really like look at it, like in terms of like who have these guys beaten, mm-hmm. it's uh, who has Lando beaten? He's beaten Daniel Ricardo, Ricardo and, and a young Piastri. Oscar Piastri. So it's like, yeah, I would like to see Lando head to head with George Russell or, yeah, Carlos Sainz now or just somebody who right. we know is very good. mm Hmm. We don't really. I just, you know, it's, it's the same question you have with La- Alex Albon, right? It's, um, you know, it's but it, not, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Look, the, two, two of you beat. Who have you beaten? Lando has. We don't have that question with Yuki because Yuki's beating Daniel Ricciardo. Yuki's beating Daniel Ricciardo. Ricciardo. Well, if if if, if we <laughs> if we say, if Lando's claim to fame is that he beat Daniel Ricciardo and that makes him great, then we have right. to apply that same yeah, yeah, yeah. logic by this by that logic by that yes, logic exactly. we have to apply that to um. To Mr. Sonoda. To Mr. Sonoda. Um, I think a lot Absolutely. of it's fucking branding, Should... dude. I just think it's marketing, it's branding. There's something, there's like a wonderkindness to Lando. Lando gives wonderkind. Boy wonder. He does. There's a boy wonderness to him. Um, he gives, he, he, he gives Phenom. He gives Phenom. He is giving Phenom. He gives yeah, Phenom. He is giving Phenom. Um, um, he gives uh, Mozart a little bit in uh, in Amadeus. <laughs> he kind of is giving Mozart an Amadeus. And Oscar like, gives Salieri. Oh, it's me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, should we get into our awards? Let's do Daddy of the Day. Honorable mention. 
Daddy of the Day. He's got to be uh-huh. Yuki Tsunoda's father. Silver Fox. Oh, I didn't see him. Fashionable as fuck. I... Had great fashion. Great. Yuki's going to age like fine wine. Good to know. Mm-hmm. You know? 100%. Uh, Daddy of the Day. Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. Yes, dude. I'm obsessed. Yeah. Oh, this is great. There's a picture of him with... This is from a couple years ago, but there's a great picture of him with Pierre's... His Pierre's parents. With, like, Yuki's parents and Pierre's parents. That's cute. That's cute to think about them hanging out. <laughs> that makes me happy. Okay. Um... Yeah, I mean Yuki's. I mean Yuki's a potential daddy of the day. Honestly, I'm gonna give it to Leclerc for all the reasons that we said. That Leclerc, this was a a not a tantrum day. He manned the fuck up today, and he had a Carlos Sainz hair on your chest. Bring home the fucking bacon. Nothing special. Nothing to see. Lunch here. pail Just doing day. The work. Day. Yeah, lunch, lunch pail day. day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He did. We. I don't think we've ever given Charles Leclerc Daddy of the Day. <laughs> I mean, someone can look into that, but I don't think we've ever seen him in that light. That's not really where he sits in my brain. And today was actually. Yeah, he um he came home at the end of the day, and nobody got up to greet him. Nobody said hi, right. Dad. Don't all get and yeah, yeah. Like yeah. my dad when I when when he came home and he was like, "Don't all get up at once." <laughs> dad loved to right. say that you know it's that because you remember when you're young your dad comes home from work and you're like dad and you run and you say hi but then when you get to like 15 you just kind of stop doing it right right you're like hey asshole what's yeah up? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like this is when i do it for yeah, yeah fuck you uh um yeah i'm gonna give it to charlotte claire yeah claire's a good one for that reason um Hottest moment of the day. Yuki fucking overtaken on the S's. Yeah, that's pretty good. And Lando getting also, Hamilton. Gotta... That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Lando fucking sent it on also, Hamilton. Checo in those high speed had a couple of overtakes of those high speed corners. Um, you know, what do they call it? There's like a name for it. The Degnas. 130R. They're the best names. At 130R. Spoon curves. Yeah. Degna one and two. 130 on. Yeah, I love yeah, yeah. I love Japan. Yeah, Japan's the fucking shit. Um Karen of the day. A lot of people have I'm looking on on our Instagram right now. A lot of people are saying uh Ocon ratting out Pierre. I mean he did crash into Pierre him. hit me. <laughs> Pierre hit me. Um uh, James Vows get a lot of James Vows. Both those Alpine boys, people are saying. Toto post race claiming the Merc had good data from this race. <laughs> He's, I, mean, I can I just say, I fucking hate Mercedes, and I just need to suck my own dick for a second. I said Toto was a fraud like a year and a half ago. I went way out on a limb. They suck so bad. Yeah. Just another one of their <laughs> strategies that looked good on paper. Hmm. Everyone's like, everyone's like, oh, every, oh, Mercedes gonna do the one stop. No one else yeah. doing the one stop. <laughs> Mercedes doing the one right. stop, and I'm not even mad at it. You know, I'm not even mad at it. They actually tried to do something different, but um, right. just getting beat by their customer teams and um, being upbeat on qualifying after qualifying, like sixth and seventh, just being upbeat. Like, what the fuck? Also, Toto Wolf. Not gonna. He was scheduled not to show up. I went off about this. Right. Yes. He was yeah, not yeah. supposed to be in no, Suzuka. Let's... Yeah. Right. And then he goes. You know but what? He listens to the pod and and listens to the pod. I was going off about how he takes breaks. Yeah. Went off about. You know, Fred Vasseur doesn't even remember what his kids look like. Right. Right. Yeah. None of these guys take races off because. It's mm-hmm. their job to show up to all these races. Just like all of their employees show up to every race, they show up to every race. Right. And what kind of example yeah. does that set to people like Lewis Hamilton who are like, wait a minute, is this guy like fully committed? Mm-hmm. You know, that might have crossed Lewis's mind when he was thinking about going to Ferrari. And then, for, 
And then for him to like halfway through the week go, you know, I, I will come. I will. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. The, the, you think that? No. You know what? Don't come. Don't come. Right. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. hey, Toto, don't do us any favors. Right. Don't yeah, do yeah, us yeah. any favors. You know what? Enjoy your week in the fucking Swiss Alps or wherever the fuck you were going to go. Because don't do us any favors. You don't want to be here. Don't fucking be here. But this idea that it's like, well, I, you know, I'm here, guys. I'm here. That's uh-huh. nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Right. Nobody wants you to reluctantly be here or, 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 or think that you being here is special. Right. It's and then it's like he said yeah. he, this was. Yeah. This was his quote. He said, I had planned not to come to Japan because there's so much um, on back in Europe, things to do. But then I felt <laughs> not coming. To there's Japan a festival I want to catch, trip. you know. Yeah. yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. there's an art show. It's, it's, I mean, there's it's kind of it's, it's spring now. So it's like it's the weather's kind of turning. So it's getting nice, but it's not there's overcrowded so much yet. <laughs> going on back in Europe. Did you know that Europe, despite being a small continent, Brian, has a lot of countries. Yeah. There's, you know, I'm from Austria, but there's yeah. Germany. You can check out lots of cool stuff to see in Germany. There's France. Yeah. Did you, you know, there's Louvre, there's a Louvre, but there's more than just a Louvre. There's lots of museums there that you can check. It's like there's so much going on. Back in yeah, Europe. L- Lake Como is beautiful this time of year. So <laughs> there's a lot going on in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot going on in Europe. Yeah. Um, um, he said, I think it's important to be with the race team also. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Lake Como. Lake Como yeah. in April. Yeah. Doing my job. <laughs> uh, you know, on the one yeah. hand, there's, you know. On the on the one hand, there's fucking hanging out on my yacht in the Mon- in the Monaco right. Bay. On the other right. hand, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like Como. You know, he also sees his wife more than most people because she works in F one. You know, like right. <laughs> so it's like he doesn't even have the excuse of like I miss my wife and kids. Like because right, his right, wife right. literally like they travel they travel part together of the traveling circus yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um we are he said yeah, it does me it does me good also to be close to the action. <laughs> Not that close cuz he's never on the pit wall. He's in the garage, which I always find. It's like be on the wall, dude. Why are you in the garage? Um we are experimenting with a few things and then being part of the team really gives me energy. I'm glad I'm glad it energizes it. him to do his job. That would be that would Why suck. That would suck anyway. if doing your job was a, was fucking draining for you. <laughs> I'm glad you get something out of it, dude. Yeah. Because <laughs> what's in it for you? Other, what's yeah. in it for yeah? Because <laughs> I, I, what I always think about is is when I when I I have to optimize. Yeah. I have to optimize my happiness. Hey, hey, Brian. You know why I show up to this podcast? Because only because of what's in it for me, not because of my obligations yeah. to whatever. It's right. just crazy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Brian, I can we can um, we can we wrap this up because there's a lot going on in, in right, the West Coast yeah. right now, you know, in, in Europe. <laughs> there's a lot going on in, in LA, in, in San yeah, Francisco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice, a lot of tech I could be in, right. looking into. You'll be in, investing, investing. In. Yeah, we are experimenting with a few things, um, and then being part of the team really gives me energy. I hope the other way around too. <laughs> Insecure. We love an insecure king. Yeah. We love it. Was it good for you too? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what was Karen of the you. day? Was Karen of the day is when they told uh, Esteban to push. And he's like, I am fucking pushing. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was giving is yeah. it in? Is it in vibes? Oh, sure. I yeah, it's yeah. in. <laughs> this is the end of the line. This is the end of the line. It's as deep as it goes. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of your earliest stand-up bits when you were doing stand-up for. Yeah, I remember that was like my first bit. It was. Uh, it she was says, like deeper. deeper. I'm like, what do you mean deeper? This is this is it. <laughs> this is the end. You think my the, like? You think, think my, my dick, dick has a crank on it? Crank on it. Like, on gonna, it? <laughs> yeah, I can roll out more dick for you. No, no, no. This is this is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> what you see is what you get. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that's why Toto decided against staying in Europe. <laughs> 
for all these convoluted Crazy. reasons, there's it's just I, I I decided I decided to go to Japan because it was my fucking job. That's why it's literally my this job. Is like literally, literally my your job. job. He's such a pop. also the whole sum the whole summers in fucking Europe. The whole swath of this Ryan, thing. There's is so in much Europe. going on in Europe. He couldn't possibly do it all during the summer season. Yeah. Dude, Gunter Steiner lives in the United States of America. Okay? There's three, there's four races in North America. There's what, like eight, ten races in Europe? Gunter Steiner was going to fucking Japan, then coming back to Charlotte, North Carolina, and then going to Australia, and then coming back. You know, the, the travel. Give he always Gunter the Mercedes job. Give Oh, dude. That would be incredible. That would be such a clash of cultures. That, right. A hundred percent. Hey, Everyone hey those bathrooms, white those bathrooms would start looking like shit. Yeah. Those bathrooms would lo- start looking I like shit. I ate too much and- Chipotle and I blew out the bathroom yeah. with a Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Mercedes new sponsor, Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> dude! Give him the C. And now, yeah, whatever. Toto's now hoping that like uh, that Kimmy Antonelli is gonna like you know pull him out of this, be his you know savior, Deus ex machina. Well, it's gonna be crazy if like if, if um Kimmy if Kimmy could get that seat that that sergeant seat like in because because he, he has a super license point. So if he can get the um, you mean mid year. Cause, cause he has he has super license points. He yeah, has enough super license right, points. Right, right, yeah, yeah. He just has to be eighteen. So when does he turn eighteen? Give me it. Wait, really? Yep. Is that a thing? Yep. Wasn't Max was was younger? They than 18, They changed wasn't the he? rules because of fucking Max. Wow. Really? Max is, yeah. Okay, so Kimmy turns. Yeah, because because it, it didn't work out with Max. <laughs> well, Max Ma- was such a failure. No, well, Max was a hazard. And and yeah, well, and they still, were worried that Max still would was, be. Right. They were also worried he that still would be if he was in a slow car. Also, also Max was in. Max only was in cars for one year, whereas Kimmy's been in cars for a couple of years. Yeah. So, um, washed is Kimmy washed? Um, so <laughs> Kimmy turns eighteen August twenty fifth. So it could happen in a couple months. Mm. Could happen at the. That would be an aggressive. That would be. I would be obsessed with that if they did. No, put Kimmy, put Kimmy in the sergeant seat. Get sergeant out of here. I just want to see the James Vowles video that they make about Logan Sargent after they kick him out of the fucking seat. Dude, they already took, they already, they already yanked him GTA style out of the, uh, out of the (laughs) Albon when Albon crashed. So. Dude, when he crashed in when he crashed in FP, you know, one or whatever, and uh, then they were cleaning up his stuff, and they just had a garbage bag, and they were just cleaning up his his pieces of his wing and they were just putting in a fucking clear garbage bag. I was like, that is Logan Sargent's <laughs> career right there. Just in a, in a fucking recycling garbage bag where you, that is transparent. So you can see it all like that. If that's not <laughs> the fucking summary of this kid's fucking career uh, in F1, sometimes. I don't know what is. Um. Okay. Radio of the day. Gotta be strong. Gotta be Lance. Yeah, it's got to be Lance. That was fucking iconic. <laughs> yeah, Lewis. Should I let George pass? They're like a whole different category. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, no, that was fucking, that was incredible. Oh, what was that moment where Max and GP like had a bet on something? There was like, no, they, no, they had he was some having understeer bet. and oversteer. Yeah. He was like having problems right. with the car, even though he was winning. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. And then, um, and he's like, that would have to do with the way the wing was set up. And then he yeah, goes, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going to say I told you so. <laughs> Clearly, GP wanted it one way, and Max wanted it the other way. Max got his way, and now Max is complaining. And right. as I think Ted Kravitz pointed out, 
when you say I'm not going to say I told you so, you're saying I told you so. Yeah. I just love, I think low key, the two sassiest people in F1 are GP and Martin Brundle. I want those two to have a podcast. Mm. GP and Martin, those are the two sassiest fucks on the, on the, in the, in the F1 paddock. Where was Martin Brundle today? Yeah, he's, he's, you know, I don't know. He, he's getting, all, I don't know if he could, wants to do the full schedule. I know Crofty's also taking some races off. Like, I don't know how much longer, it's sad to think, but like how much, who knows? Maybe Runner will do it forever, but I think there, he's just taking races off probably because this, because the scheduling is, <laughs> is too brutal. These 24 races are brutal. But Toto had to still doesn't have any excuse. Okay, red flag of the day. I'm just going to give it to fucking Williams and their two chassis. I'm done hearing about the, the fucking two chassis. You give it to Kick Sauber and their shitty pit stops. Oh, my God. I mean, it's crap. I, I don't even think about that. I'm just yeah. like, oh, that's not even a form. I mean, Botas could have gotten. Botas had a great weekend. He could have gotten points, too. He could have. I yeah. mean, that they, they he was really on for points. He qualified well. And he had like two, he had like a four second pit stop. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And so did Joe. It was, I forget, it was like, yeah, Joe, had like Joe's pit stop. Joe had like, I know failure. he had failure, but he came in and then they like weren't, they were just like looking at the car. <laughs> came, I was just like, what is going on? I thought my TV cars. had frozen. I was like, what is going on? Nobody's yeah. moving. What's <laughs> happening? They're not touching the car. What, what is going on? Yeah. Um, um, and Mercedes just being a midfield team. George's dive bomb, dive bombing Oscar <laughs> instead of being patient and getting DRS on the straight. <laughs> That's what someone wrote. George is perfect, George and is I hope he never changes. Fucking, he's such a fucking agent of chaos. I love him. <laughs> so is K Mag. Honestly, also, I think K Mag's out here just yeah. fucking making havoc every week. Yeah. Also, uh, uh, this is going back, but hottest one of the day also was was the that pit stop moment. And Yuki coming out on top. Oh, like, just sneaking out in front of everybody. All the yes, dude. You know that was like that Ferris Bueller moment where he like gets away it, with it, where he throws the the baseball and it hits uh-huh. the thing, and then the baseball lands back in the glove. And he's like, "Ah, right, he right, made right. it! He made it! Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah." Um. Okay, let's do fuck Mary kill. Can we can we extend the real podium to third, fourth, and fifth at this point? <laughs> because it seems like a Red Bull one two is kind of also inevitable. Mm. Okay. So Carlos Sainz, Charles Leclerc, Lando Norris. Mary and Carlos Sainz fucking Leclerc killing Lando. Oh wow, interesting. I thought you were gonna fuck Lando and kill Leclerc. This week I'm marrying Charles Leclerc because this week he fucking had some hair on his chest and I liked it. And then I'm fucking Carlos and I'll kill Lando as well. Um, how does this race hold up to the greatest race of all time, the Las Vegas GP? It was not better, but it involved right. Yuki points, which the Las Vegas yep. GP did not involve, which right was a ding. I have that's to ding. Only, yeah, yeah, that's one of the only things that was wrong with it. Yeah. And Mac, Max won both of these, so I have to hold up against both of them. But it was very good. It's very good. Lots of strategy. I mean, I didn't know how it was all going to pan out, you know, with the alternate yeah. strategies. You didn't know how it was all going to unfold. You didn't know if Leclerc was going to hang on. You didn't know if um, where you were wondering if George and Lewis were going to, if that strategy was going to work, you you were wondering if Yuki was going to hang on. I mean, there was a lot of interesting storylines and in seeing how yeah. the uh, strategies were going to converge and play out. So I thought it was a very good race. It was not as good as the Vegas GP. I mean, you did not have yeah. Leclerc and Max battling it out on pure pace. Something that we have yet to see Carlos Sainz do. <laughs> that's right yeah um yeah I, i'm I'm with you it was, it was pretty good but no no vegas gp but i but the fans one more time for the fucking japanese fans baby yeah they they i mean they're better than the vegas fans that's for sure 
That's definitely for sure. Yeah. Um. All right, you motherfucking vankas. Oh, we got. We'll, we'll see what we do next week. We got the Chinese GP is next, but we can have we're gonna have an episode in between then. All right, vankas, go on, go on with your little lives. We love you. I don't care.